Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So it has been a hot minute since I have filmed anything for you guys. Um, without getting like too, too into it, you guys know that uh, I sort of have this channel for fun. I like to film not only videos that you guys like, but videos that I like, that I'm passionate about. I'm not one to just film something for the sake of it. Um, so sometimes for me, it is harder for me to like sit down and film if I'm really not in the mood to do it. Also, over the past two weeks, I have been off from work. So we were, um, I went, oh God, I can't even think right now. So I went to a Backstreet Boys concert in Toronto, which was awesome. And then the day after that, I was up uh, north at a cottage for the weekend. And then Sunday night, we were at uh, Tom's parents' trailer until the following Saturday. Then we went to my sister's on the Sunday. I went back to work on Tuesday, so it's just been a little hectic here. I haven't had time to sit down and film. Also, today I am filming with my new phone. So previously, I, like all the way back to the beginning, I used to film with an iPad. Um, then I started filming with my LG G6, which uh, my contract came up, and literally the day after my contract was up, I dropped the phone and I shattered the screen. So that phone is kind of dead now. Um, but the when I watched the footage from that phone back on the phone, it was always really good. It was clear. It was in focus, all of that. But then when I watched it on any other device, like it was kind of fuzzy and blurry and, you know, the colors weren't true. So I've been constantly looking for something. I still am trying to find like a Canon or a Nikon or something that's good for actual filming. Um... I am, my hair is just a hot mess right now. I'm in the process of finding that. But in the meantime, I was using my digital camera for a bit, which the footage was better. Um, but I just got this phone. I got a Google Pixel 3a XL and they, the guy at the store said it had one of the best cameras on it. So I'm going to try filming with this and see how it works. Now, the blurriness and stuff that I see sometimes could just come down to the editing software I'm using because I'm using Windows Movie Maker, which is, you know, you don't even pay for it. So that could be one of the reasons, but I'm just trying it out. So if this footage is better, let me know down below and I'll keep filming with this. Um, but I still will eventually get a camera used for that. So enough like rambling on. I am planning on filming a couple of videos today. Um, this one was kind of a spur of the moment sort of thing as of yesterday. I knew I wanted to film some sort of actually doing my makeup video with you guys because I haven't done one in a while it seems. Um, I was going to do a, another video in my Gods and Goddesses series, which I am still going to do. I am like the worst for starting series and then like filming two videos and never coming back to them. So I will get back to that one. I don't even know if you guys were enjoying it or not, but I really, really was having fun with it. Um, so I will get back to that one. But And you guys also asked me to do a bunch of first impressions on... A lot of the makeup I got in that Sephora haul and I am still planning on doing a full video of that but since I bought three palettes when I did that haul obviously I can't use all three of them in the video and somebody yesterday had very specifically asked to see a review I just threw my color switch on the floor of the Dominic Cosmetics uh, Rustic Glam palette so I thought today I would do an eye look using that. I've already done all of my face makeup just to make this video go a little bit quicker. And they had specifically asked um, to see some of the blues. So I'm thinking we're going to be using like some of these more neutral colors, a couple of the blues in there as well. Uh, I don't know that I'll be touching like either the pink or the purple or like the greeny kind of color stay, but we'll kind of see where it goes. I don't really have an idea in mind for this. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into it once I pick my color switch off the floor. Alrighty, so I have already primed my eyelids. I just used my MAC Painterly Paint Pop because it's one that I know really, really well. So I'm going to know how the colors are sitting on it and whatnot. And I had thought that, um... I'll like film all this part for you guys now and then I'll come back later tonight and we'll see how it wears. I've worn this palette once before and it did wear very, very well, but I haven't dipped into a lot of those fun blues and stuff yet. So I do want to kind of see how those ones work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color here, Fringe, and I'm going to lay that kind of all in my crease and I mean it's going to be a lot on my lid just because I'm doing it kind of carelessly, but I just sort of want to lay something for the brighter, bolder colors to stick down to and just to create some depth also in my crease. 
And the brush I'm using is just like a, I don't even know, they don't have numbers on it. It is a ColourPop brush. And if you guys have been with me for any length of time, you guys will know that I no longer uh, purchase ColourPop. I had an incident with them um, over poor shipping on their part and some of my products getting damaged and they were really like their customer service really sucks so I have a bunch of ColourPop stuff what I have I haven't necessarily gotten rid of um because the products themselves are really really good but uh as a people as a company I just don't want to deal with them anymore and I know I'm not the only one that's had that problem when I went on my rant about it a lot of you guys reached out to me uh and told me you'd had a similar experience or something of that effect and I even had um Megan my best friend she's been in a couple of my videos she even told me she ordered like a clear eyebrow gel and she paid for it and they forgot to include it in the package, I think I might have talked about this then, I don't remember, they forgot to include it in the package and rather than like just say, oh my god, I'm so sorry, here's another one, they were like, we'll send you the, here, you can have this voucher to buy another one, pay for the shipping again, which is just like, it's, it's ridiculous to me, like, I'm not gonna rant about it again, I already did that, so I did just blow away a ton of fallout, there's a ton of fallout on the uh, palette itself, I can't see if there's any on my face yet, only because um, that color is such a toned down color that even if it showed up, I would probably just think it was like bronzer kickback. So the next color we're gonna get into is, let's do some of this Desert Queen, this like orange color. I'm just taking, this brush just has a bit of a fatter end to it just so that it goes a little higher. Um, and I only picked up a little bit and that is quite pigmented. Do you see what I mean by like it's kicking back a little bit? Now all palettes will do that. Well, yeah, all palettes will, you'll get powder. I mean, if you dig around in any kind of powder, highlighter, uh, bronzer, anything, you're gonna kick powder up. It's just a case of how much the kickoff falls off of the uh, brush. And I probably did not pick the best shirt to wear today. I'm like wearing this like red shirt. So this look might look kind of funny with it, but I didn't think it through. I didn't think through. I was just like, yeah, I'll just go and uh, film a video today. And now I'm sitting here and being like, well, this looks kind of dumb. So the next color we're going to get into. I'm trying to debate how I want to use these blues because I don't want this to be like a neutral look with some blue in it. I want it to be a blue look with some neutral and like the neutrals just to kind of build a base. So, you know what, let's take, no, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go in with, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with suede a little bit, then we're gonna take Evil Eye and we're gonna do a lot of that, do a dark corner in Moonchild. I wanna use Dreamcatcher as kind of like a topper and we'll probably smoke something out in the lower lash line too. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of suede and just kind of, if I'm looking off this way, it's because I have a like big standing mirror there that I'm using to kind of watch. I am also actually, this camera, the um, picture is really, really good on it, like the display. So I can actually kind of do it more into the camera than I'm used to doing, which is nice. I did pull a couple of blue eyeliners on the off chance that I decided to use one of those instead. But I think for every, any eye color, I'm just gonna use the palette because I really do wanna see how it performs. Um, I'm just gonna really quickly blend all of these together before I start putting the blues on, just so that these are kind of seamless and toned down and do form kind of a background for the brighter colors I'm gonna put on. Okay. So now let's take, okay, we're going to take Evil Eye and we're going to kind of bring that up and into the crease a bit just for a bit of color. This is really bright. Uh, let's see how this goes. I just tapped a bunch of it off. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have tapped it off because it's not really coming out. Here we go again. There we go. Now that's too much. Okay. Um, huh. It's such a pigmented color. It almost just like muddied everything, like made everything go kind of like blackish, if that makes sense. Like I can see that there is still some blue there. 
but it's sort of all over the place. So I did just kind of bring it on, oh God, part of my lid. And if you do pack it, like pat it down, it is very, very blue. Um, if you kind of like buff it, 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 it does fade a little bit more. I am just going to clear that out a little bit. Yeah. Do you guys see how it kind of like tones down a lot? Um, that's nice in a sense that it does make the color a little bit more wearable, but also like the colors are kind of muddying a little bit. I guess that's to be expected. I shouldn't be surprised if I really wanted to see. So maybe what we'll do is because I do want to see what this bright blue does. We'll use that as a like lower lash line color too. See how bright it is. And then you kind of buff it down. Oh, it's still a little bit more bright there. I don't want it that bright now. I really should come into these videos with like a clear purpose of what I want to do because I always end up making a hot mess of myself and it'll always like turn out okay in the end. But for like a brief minute, it looks brutal. So I am just taking like a, this isn't really, oh, whatever. Here we go. This is the brush I want. I'm just taking like a thin kind of pencil brush and I am just going to take some of that color and sweep it underneath. That way we can see like truly, truly what it's doing. It's a little bit more than I had intended because I actually wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Okay. So now we've got some of that blue going. It looks really bright on the brush. Um, now I'm going to go in with Moonchild. This is this like black, blue, shimmery kind of color. Right? And I'm going to deepen up, up top. This look ended up so much darker than I intended on it. Not really, this isn't saying anything about the palette. The palette is good so far. It's my own skill with a makeup brush is just not on point today. I didn't wear a ton of makeup when I was away because you're at a cottage and you're running and jumping off the dock and it's just more than I wanted to deal with. I ended up pretty much just making myself into a smoky look with a bright blue undertone, which is not what I meant to do. And I have glitter on my nose. So there is fallout for sure with that one. Maybe it's on my lashes. I don't know where it is. It's really bothering me though. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with dream catcher. That's that like baby blue. And I'm going to, whoa, do kind of like that. And I am using my finger just because I always find that like shimmery shadows, they just go on better with a finger. You don't lose any of the pigment with uh, that like could get stuck to your brush. Okay. Wow. That's really blue. It's really pretty. And I mean, I did say I kind of wanted to see how all of like the brighter shadows perform. And they look good. It's just this look is a hot mess and it's going everywhere and I'm not happy with it, but we're just gonna, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna try and salvage this. So I'm gonna go back in with that suede color and just try and like tone it down a little bit. I, I'm screwing this up left, right, and center, you guys. Just what to expect from me, right? What I always do. Okay, that's not bad now. Oh, that's bad. I went too high. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stop fussing with it. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I don't hate it. I also don't love it. I don't wear a ton of like blues on my eyes. Um, I don't know why, I just don't. Like I like them, I like the way that they look, but I don't wear a ton of blue on my eyes all the time. So I'm going to really quickly go and apply some eyeliner and some mascara, and then I'm gonna come back and do a quick like wrap up of this portion. And then like I said, I'll come back later and let you guys know how it's holding out. Alrighty, so I feel a little bit better now that I've got like eyeliner and mascara on. I feel like it just kind of brings the whole thing together. I've also got like gunk all over my fingers. Um, for eyeliner, I used, I need to stop talking like away from the camera. Um, this is what I was looking for. 
For eyeliner, I used my Fenty Fly Liner, uh, and then for mascara, I used the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, just in case you guys did want to know. Um, one thing I did notice when I was putting my mascara on, and I don't know that you guys are going to be able to see it, um, there is a ton of fallout, and I think it's all coming mostly from um, Moonchild and possibly from Dreamcatcher because it's all glitter, and they've got a similar, like, glitter shade in them like it's like a blue glitter so I can't tell exactly which one it did come from but it is like not a little bit like it is a significant can you guys see I don't you know it's a significant amount of fallout all under here and it's kind of making my under eyes look really dark again it almost makes me feel like my concealer was kind of pointless earlier today so I feel like in the future if I were going to use those shimmery colors I would probably do my eyeshadow before I did the rest of my face makeup which I I used to do it that way and then I stopped so maybe now I should head back to doing it that way um I, I don't know how often am I really gonna use those crazy colors is not as much you know this half of the palette just is a lot more wearable to me than that half a um, lot of pigmentation in these shades they do blend really well together even now, I mean, to what end? They were starting to get a little bit muddy when I was adding some of the blue um, to the browns, and then it seemed to all go away when I added the moon child, but, you know, can you see all of the colors I laid down? No, they're kind of all mixed together, but is that the palette's fault or the user's fault? I, I don't know. Um, overall, I do really, really like this palette. I love the shadow formula. It is so soft, so creamy. It's the same as the Latte palette which I love. Um, yeah, overall, I do really like this palette. I would just say just be aware of the fallout. Um, and much like any new product, I think it's just something I'm going to have to get used to. It's something I'm going to have to keep playing with and building the colors and seeing if every color muddies or if it's just certain ones that shouldn't go together. Try it in different ways. Just kind of see what's going on. So for now, I will say that I do really, really like this. I have used it a couple times and I've been really happy with the looks. This is the first time I've used a lot of like the blues and stuff and I will say that normally I would only use one, maybe two. I wouldn't use them all together um, just because that's not my own personal style. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, like as I sit here and look at it more and more and more, I do like it. I do like the look that I ended up coming up with. It was a little dicey in the middle there for a bit, but like would I go out? This is how I always think of like how I feel about a makeup look is like, would I go out of the house and go shopping, go for dinner, go, you know, whatever? And the answer is yes, I would. I do think it ends up like looking quite nice. Um, I think that like light blue and then having liner and mascara kind of frames it and brings it all together. So for now, I will say I really, really like this. I will come back uh, at the end of the day. I have a massage today. I have to run to the store with my mom. So I will come back and I will film like a however many hours later kind of video before I take it off. I would tell you what time it is right now, but I it is three o'clock right now. Um, so I will probably come back at like eight o'clock, something like that. And we will see how it's held up. So for now I will say goodbye and I will see you guys in a couple hours. All right, you guys. So it is now nine o'clock. I've been wearing this makeup for six hours. I'm not in my normal filming setup just cause I kind of, without thinking about it, tore down my little stand that I normally have my uh, camera resting on. And I was too lazy to put it back, but my light, thankfully, I hadn't put away. I don't know why, because I was going to do it, and then I decided not to. So this is kind of where we're at right now. Um, it looks more or less the same. I feel like the blue might have, like, dulled down a bit, but to be honest, I also, like, after I filmed with you guys, I sat here and watched Netflix for a couple hours, and then I had a massage, and then I had uh, to go to the liquor store with my parents, because we have a big family reunion this weekend, uh, so my mom and I wanted to pick out a bunch of fun, like, fruity summer drinks to try, so I was doing that, and honestly, considering I had my face, like, in, like, I know it's, like, that whole pillow, considering that, it's actually held up pretty well, um, there's, like, the most minor amount of separation right here, uh, where some of the color seems to have faded out, but again, that could just, ultimately, it could have been like that in the beginning, and I just don't remember, and you guys can probably see the fallout is all still very, very much there, um, so yeah, after six hours of wear, I still really like the palette, I still think it's a really, really good purchase, especially for the money, and with how expensive some palettes can be, I think this one was only, like, what, 
$58 or something like that. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself on the screen. Um, something like that. So ultimately, I'm still really, really happy with it. And as much as like the blue sparkly ones are giving me fallout, I think the only way to know is to try some of the uh, other, there might only be one other sparkly one, and see if I prefer that one, and if it does fall out, and if it does, that's going to suck, but uh, for the most part, I do really like this palette, and this look ended up growing on me throughout the day. I don't hate it as much now as I did when I did it, so yeah, hopefully this helps you guys at all, so if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If there's any other products you want me to do this kind of video for let me know down in the comment section below I love hearing from you guys if you guys bought this palette and have had similar experiences or know of how I can maybe get less fallout let me know that as well so yeah hit the thumbs up button like this video subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time bye